Hi, welcome to the settings tutorial. In this video, we'll cover the settings section of the app, where you get to configure how Customly works with your storefront and how your shoppers get to see the personalization. This includes some very interesting tips and tricks for your storefront, so let's get started. You can access settings from the top of the screen in the Start section or also the Store section. Here you will find different tabs, Preview Behavior, Styles, Advanced, Integrations and Developer Settings. Let's dive in. We'll start with Preview Behavior. Here you can configure how your product's preview will appear in your storefront, both for desktop and mobile. You can choose the same or different styles for desktop and mobile. Let's see what each style looks like. Modal Preview will add a personalized button to the product page, so when customers click it, a modal will appear with the preview and the personalization options. The preview will change every time a customer interacts with the options. On the mobile version, the preview will always be visible on the modal and options will appear below with a horizontal scroll to go through all the options available. The Add to Cart button will be sticky under the options. Now, the Show Preview button will have options shown on the product page following your store's theme and it will add a Show Preview button at the end of the options form. In this style, the preview will only be visible when customers click the Show Preview button. Finally, our most popular style is the Product Page Preview. This will add both the options and the preview to the product page. When your customers interact with the options, the preview will appear instead of the product picture, displaying the changes in real time. In mobile, the same thing will happen. The preview will remain on the top where the product image is and shoppers can scroll through the options below. Depending on the style you choose, a couple more settings will show for you to further customize that style. And here comes my favorite thing. If you choose the product page preview, you can also enable the show preview button, which is our go-to option for mobile. This way you can have the preview change live and also add a show preview button at the bottom of the options. So when customers are done personalizing, they don't have to scroll back up to check the preview. Instead, they can click the show preview button and the preview will appear for them right there. There are other things you can configure about your preview behavior and product page layout. Other popular setting is adding zoom to your preview which can be zoom and hover, zoom with a button, or no zoom at all. Once you're set up, simply click Save Settings to have these changes impact your storefront. Now let's move on to the Styles tab. Here you can style your options to modify their appearance. There are many different styles you can configure, starting with the general option styles, where you can turn options into accordions, you can configure tooltips for your options, and you can also add a solid background color behind all options, among other things. Then you can apply styles to specific elements, like buttons, where you can define your buttons, colors, fonts, and more. You can also configure swatches where you can define the shape, size and more. You can apply styles for your drop downs and so on. So if you want to change the appearance of anything on your personalization form, this is the place to go. Now in advanced settings, you can configure different ways for your customer's personalization to be saved and shared from allowing customers to edit the personalization once they have it in the cart, to allowing them to share their designs on social media. These advanced functionalities will help you make the most out of the personalization your customers make. On the Integrations tab, you can manage your connections with different print-on-demand providers. This is a very important section if you want to fulfill orders with a print-on-demand service. By choosing a provider from the list and selecting Enable Integration, you can add the API key 
provided by that print on demand supplier. So your orders will be automatically sent to them. Make sure to check our guides on where to obtain those API keys from the different providers so you can add them right here. Last but not least, we have the developer settings section. As the name suggests, this section is intended for developers and it's most likely you won't use it. However, if you're tech savvy, here you can add some custom CSS or JavaScript code to customize our app's behavior even further. One thing that's important to remember, in order for settings to take effect, you always need to save them first. So if you make any changes, don't forget to click the save settings to see them reflected in your store. Now that you're familiar with custom list settings, go ahead and tweak them so you can make the most out of our app. Don't forget to check our other video tutorials where you can learn more about product bases, my designs, templates, and more. And as always, if you need help, you can find our amazing support team just a click away using the help button in the right corner. Happy customizing!